okay so now about the rest you already know how to do them except that mass is different from distance of course right you know that essentially distance means well just essentially distance meaning for example the distance between new delhi and karnataka or the distance between your home and your school and so on and so forth or the distance between two points on a plane on a sheet of paper that you can measure using for example a ruler right so that's essentially distance um about the mass essentially is nothing but the amount of stuff the the amount of matter that there is in something right and um, essentially the more the, the essentially the, the the more the amount of matter essentially the the higher is going to be the weight of the of that of that of that mass basically right meaning that the, the more matter there is in something meaning that then that thing is going to be heavier right so and so again the same story we have over here so we have essentially the kilogram the gram and the milligram and but there is but there is essentially over here there is there is there is in the in the since we are essentially working with the si system in the si system for whatever reason what they have done is that they have i mean um, you would expect that for example you see that over here we have the centimeter the millimeter the kilometer the meter and in all of these basic the units there is the centimeter millimeter the meter itself kilometer right so the base unit essentially the base unit for distance is, is the meter and the meter you already know that it's just well just one meter basically right you can you can measure that using a measure tape or something like that but then but then essentially the the um, the the um, the unit for the mass based on the si system is not meaning over here you have the kilogram the gram the milligram and the even the microgram and all of those things right but um and you would expect that the unit for the mass is the gram which is actually not the case the the actual unit for the for the mass is the kilogram okay and um but then that's not a problem again when it comes to conversion it's it's again the exact same story so uh, meaning that for example you can go from kilogram to gram from milligram to gram even you can go from kilogram to milligram and so on and so forth so for example one kilogram is the same thing as a thousand grams right and the reason for that is that for example one kilogram is the same thing as one into and then kilo is the same thing as essentially 10 raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a thousand so that's one into thousand grams which is the same thing as a thousand grams right so this tells us that one kilogram is the same thing as a thousand thousand grams basically right so that's that's basically one thing again if you want to go the other way around start from the start from the kilogram and essentially um, meaning that suppose that you had you had essentially 1000 grams and you want to know how many kilograms is that so how do you calculate this you would simply <coughs> you would have to use the conversion factors and and basically the fact that if you divide for example 20 by 20 that would be 1 times 20 is equal to 20 subtract 0 right so in this in this division i have the 20 here i have the 20 here 
I have the one here and I have the zero here, right? So you see over here the 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 essentially the this twenty over here is called so this twenty over here is called the dividend and this twenty over here is called the um, it's called the divisor and this one over here is called the the quotient and this zero over here is called the remainder right so th then essentially this is a simple division right you already know about uh, long division this is long division and this is a simple division there is a number that you divide by some other number the div the, the number that you divide is called the dividend and the dividend is divided by the divisor the answer is the quotient and there is always some remainder the, either the remainder is zero or some basically some amount basically meaning that for example a uh, in the case of for example let's say in the case of 23 divided by 5 you have basically 4 times 5 is equal to 20 and then basically 20 minus 23 minus 20 is equal to 3 so here the dividend is 23 the divisor is 5 the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3 so meaning that 23 is not divisible by 5 but 20 is divisible by 20 so the remainder is 0 right now the um, essentially what what's important here is that in this case this this division i can write it as 20 divided by this 20 is equal to this is equal to basically a one with a remainder zero one r zero right so this is the this 20 is the dividend, this 20 is the divisor, this 0, this 1 is the, is the quotient, and this 0 is the remainder, right? So this is essentially the exact same division. Right? Now this exact same division, essentially this division I can write it this way, or I can write it as 20 divided by 20, is equal to is equal to one with a remainder with a remainder zero so i can write it this way as well right so you see over here that and it doesn't matter really what these these two numbers are meaning what the dividend and the divisor are as long as they are the same numbers of course there is always the quotient one and the remainder zero right so which means that any every time that you divide the number by itself you're going to get a one right so that that's essentially the one of the one of the principles that we use here in the in in such cases and the other principle that we use is that um, basically any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself for example 20 multiplied by 1 is a 20 40 multiplied by 1 is a 40 50 multiplied by 1 is a 50 and so on and so forth right so now what I, what I want to do here is that I want I have a thousand grams I want to know what what that is in kilograms right and so I write I write this as a thousand grams and a thousand grams is equal to basically since I need the kilo here I multiply this by the same division that I showed you right now on this essentially since I want I don't want to essentially I don't want to um, essentially this has to remain a valid equation 
if an equation essentially is something that you have something on this side there is equal sign on this side and there is something on this side and these two sides have to be exactly the same thing that is a valid equation otherwise i cannot write for example one is equal to two that's not a true statement but then if i write two is equal to two that would be a true statement because two is equal to two but one is not equal to two i have to write it this way right then it becomes a true statement so if i want this to remain a true as a valid statement a valid equation this side of the equation has to be equal to this side of the equation how can that be essentially what that is is that since a thousand grams here a thousand grams here and i'm multiplying by something this something has to has to be can be only one except for one nothing else can work here or except for one nothing would work here and i want the kilo here to be multiplied by the gram so i put the kilo here and then because it has to be this fraction or this division has to be a one i have to divide by something which has the exact same amount as a kilo which is 10 raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a thousand so i divide by a thousand right then what happens is that the kilo is multiplied by the by the gram so that's kilogram and then the thousand is of course you can think of this as as a thousand grams by one meaning you can think of this as as a thousand grams by one and then this whole thing you can write it as a thousand grams times a kilo and then the denominator becomes one times a thousand right so then what happens is that basically the kilo is multiplied by the by the by the by the gram so this becomes essentially a kilogram times a, th a thousand and then you have a thousand over here and then i can also break this apart meaning that i can write this as a kilogram times a thousand divided by a thousand now a thousand divided by a thousand is just a one so this is just essentially a one kilogram right so and we started with a thousand grams so this tells me that a thousand grams is the same thing as one kilogram right so that's the other way around right so that is essentially all about the all about the, the one kilogram is equal to thousand grams and about the milligram of course it's simple meaning that um, essentially a gram one gram is the same thing as again one gram times and i want them the milli here so i multiply the milli in the numerator so that the milli is multiplied by the gram it becomes the milligram and because milli is the same thing as 10 raised to the power negative 3 which is the same thing as 1 over a thousand so i divide by 1 over a thousand right so that's just the one milli divided by one by by essentially one over a thousand so that's milli divided by the same amount that's just the one so then this becomes essentially um so then this becomes essentially essentially so, so this is essentially one gram times milli divided by one over a thousand right so or i can write this as um, i can write this as to make this simpler i can write this as the milli multiplied by a, by by a gram essentially becomes one milligram times essentially one over one over a thousand i have to keep the the thing simple for this level so one over one over a thousand is just a thousand one over one over a thousand is just a thousand so this is one milligram 
times a thousand which is the same thing as a thousand milligrams right so this and we started with one gram we ended up with a thousand milligrams so one gram is the same thing as a thousand milligrams and milligrams milligram is basically what you see usually see on um milligram is, is is since it's a very small unit it's usually you see it on medicine tablet essentially cases on on, on a, the, the the little bottles that in which you can find medicine that sort of thing and then usually basically what happens is that um, usually what happens is that uh, basically for example a bottle of medicine contains for example something like 20 30 40 50 milligrams and um, so now if you want to know for example what is for example 35 milligrams in in in, in grams for example so you have a bottle of essentially medicine it says for example 35 milligrams right of course um, it's different from 35 milliliters milliliter essentially is a is a unit for volume right that's usually used for liquids but milligram essentially is is a unit for essentially for, is a unit of mass which is for example used for the mass or for the actually for the weight of for example tablets medicine that sort of thing even essentially even if you had a liquid then that that would essentially have some mass and the mass could be could be expressed in milligrams but then the volume of the same liquid could be expressed for example in milliliters only right so now let's say that you have this medicine that has a mass of 35 milligrams and you want to know essentially what that is essentially in grams right and um well and, and one thing that you can always do is that you can you can of course you can understand these units also practically meaning that there is these very small scales um, that you can on which you can weigh different things different masses you can put on them and it tells you that for example the mass is two grams three grams four grams five grams those are very tiny small scales right so if you have access to any of those scales you can always make a couple of experiments for example put a coin on there put essentially something very small on there and see and then also weigh that thing on the on the palm of your hand to see essentially what what is in reality what is one gram what is two grams what is three grams what is five grams and so on and so forth right now if you want to know basically for example let's say that the medicine that you have it says 35 milligrams and you want to know what is that in um, in in grams basically one way that you can do it is that you can use um, basically you can essentially do the same thing that we did before 35 milligrams is equal to what in grams and then in order to convert you can write this as essentially 35 times and the milli is the same as one over a thousand so that's one over a thousand basically grams which means that it's the same thing as 35 over a thousand grams which if you were to express the number in decimal format you would write it as 0 0.035 grams basically meaning 35 thousandth this is 35 thousand thousandth of a of a gram what that means what this number means is that if you had essentially a mass of one gram and which is of course a very tiny very tiny mass basically meaning a something like a i don't know a couple of grains of rice for example something like that 
so then 35,000th of a, of a gram that means essentially if you had a mass of one gram which is a very tiny thing tiny mass essentially if you divided that mass into a thousand into a thousand equal masses and then from those th from those thousand equal masses if you took only 35 of them that would be 35 thousandth of a gram right meaning that for example then for example two thousandth of a gram that that would mean that for example you have a mass of basically you have a mass of one gram and you divide that mass into thousand equal masses right thousand equal masses and then from those from those tiny thousand equal masses if you took two of them that would be two thousandth of a gram which is which is in decimal format that would be 0 0.002 grams that would be two thousandth of a gram right so that's the meaning of basically 35 milligrams which is a very very small basically very small um, mass basically right now one way one way of converting 35 milligrams would be of course the usual thing that we that we did the other the other and there is another way that you can do that and that is essentially using um, proportions proportions are also useful things in mathematics and you can use them wherever you go it's it's a it's a very simple and effective way to do just about anything in mathematics now if i say that for example um, I, if i say that for example two trees two trees two four trees so suppose that i have essentially two or essentially tree is not the, the, the best example here so it's, if i had for example two eggs and if i had for example 10 eggs let's say that i have two eggs you have 10 eggs what that means is that the number of eggs that you have is five times the number of eggs that i have right two eggs to 10 eggs that that's essentially the same as for example five oranges and you can pick just about anything as long as the essentially the numerator and the denominator are are the same or they, they could also be different in different cases so five oranges to how many oranges and I pick some X for example over here right because I don't know how many oranges would that be. So two eggs to ten eggs, that means that essentially the number of eggs that you that you have is five times the number of my eggs, which is two eggs, right? Now again, if I had then five oranges, then how many oranges would you have? And again, it has to be the same proportion because I have used the equal sign here, right? So again, the number of oranges that you had would be five times the number of my oranges. And so five times five would be 25 oranges. So this is called, this is called a proportion. The essentially two or two eggs to 10 eggs is of course proportional to five oranges to 25 oranges. Because if you take this two and multiply it by five, you'll get a 10. If you take this 5 multiplied by 5, you'll get a 25, right? So these are proportionate. And of course, this x, as you can see, you don't have to, I mean, in order to calculate this x, you can write x as essentially, as a, as essentially, you can do an operation here. You want to calculate this x over here, right? So then essentially this x 
on the other side of the x you have the two x the two x go to the to the to the to the to the denominator meaning you meaning to to it becomes the divisor you are dividing by two x so you write two x over here and then you have these two five oranges and ten eggs these two have to be multiplied together in the numerator so you have five oranges times basically 10x right now x and x you can cancel out right and then 10 divided by 2 is the same thing as 5 and 5 divided by 5 is the same thing as 25 right so this is 25 oranges the units are important now here the unit happens to be for example oranges some sometimes the unit becomes a kilometer sometimes the unit becomes a minute sometimes it becomes a second sometimes it becomes a gram it depends on the situation but essentially what is important is that everything has to be proportionate so 25 oranges is the same thing that we got over here right so this same concept of proportions you can use in order to calculate the 35 milligrams that we had before right so how can you do that you can basically what you can do is that you have 35 milligrams and you want to know what that is in grams right and you know that basically that one gram is a thousand milligrams this you must have otherwise you cannot use proportions because if i want to use proportions here i would have to write for example one gram to a thousand milligrams is the same thing as and then over here how many grams to 35 milligrams as you can see basically in the numerator here i have i have the gram in the denominator i have the milligram the x that i put over here comes out as a gram because because on this side on the numerator i have the gram this also is supposed to become a gram right and then in the denominator i have put the 35 milligrams meaning that it would be wrong to write it to write this proportion this way for example 35 milligrams to x this <coughs> excuse me this would not work because of the fact that this proportion on the left hand side i have written it this way meaning the milligram i have put it in the denominator on the other side on the right hand side the milligram also has to go to the denominator right so this has to be written as essentially how many grams to 35 milligrams the meaning of this proportion in simple english would be one gram to a thousand milligrams is the same thing as x grams to 35 milligrams right and then again you can do the same thing meaning you can write x as equal to and then this a thousand milligrams because it is right in front of x essentially across x it goes into the denominator it becomes a thousand milligrams and then these two on the other two sides they have to go to the numerator multiplied together so one gram times 35 milligrams right and then milligram and milligram you can cancel out so this becomes 35 over a thousand and then the unit comes out as a gram so that's a 35 thousandth of a milligram that's a 35 thousandth of a milligram excuse me of a gram essentially because this is of course a gram right 
So 35,000 of a gram, which can be written as 0 0.035 of a gram, right? That's all about basically conversion when it comes to mass and the distance we have already done. Uh, the volume we will talk. This is there is interesting things about volume. I can I can tell you about, and you can use them just about any any and anywhere that you go. You can actually use them in different whenever essentially you're doing different things. So these are all actually useful things that I'm talking about. So in the next video we'll talk about volume. Thank you.